so we're rolling the rear fenders today on Project Daily. Now, the tool I'm going to be using, I uh, got off eBay. That's right. I picked myself up a nice little, I think it was like $60 for this uh, fender roller. Not bad. I mean, the quality's pretty damn nice. I've never used this tool, so it looks like we're going to be practicing on Project Daily. But, uh, did a little research, there's not much to it. Just a heat gun, rubber mallet, fender roller, jack stands, jack. Obviously, the socket to take the wheels off. And yeah. So, the first thing that I did, as you can see, I already jacked up the car and I already broke all the uh, lug nuts loose. So, all I have to do is take them off and remove the wheel. For those of you who don't remember, I did a uh, stud conversion. So instead of, you know, trying to freaking hold the wheel in place and put your studs in, did that, that lug conversion. So, yeah, you know, not half bad. Now I am going to have to remove the parking brakes so this can spin freely because this is where you're going to get that rotation to go back and forth to roll your fenders. <laughs> you guys so I officially have the roller mounted now I don't know if you guys can see this but it's pretty straight right here and then it has the two angles on the sides so I might have to adjust the roller a couple of times to get that perfect shape and angle I'm trying to go for in order to you know not screwed up but before I start rolling I'm gonna start heating up the material and I'm gonna hit the little pieces of metal on the side to kind of bend it in so I don't ruin this uh, roller and then I'll get to rolling so I don't know if you can see this little bit right here, but a little bit of the primer is flaking off a little bit. You just have to make sure you're keeping the heat on it or else you're gonna screw up your damn paint job. Luckily, this car's all primered and I'm still doing body work, so I'm not really too worried about it. Just make sure you keep that heat to it. See a little bit of it. Just keep rolling, just keep rolling, and your fenders will get big. Just keep rolling, just keep rolling, and your fenders will get big. That's my new remix. It's called the Fender Roller. Just keep rolling, just keep rolling, and your fenders will get big. See that this is just some paint right there, but not too shabby. <laughs> the hell was it? Oh, <laughs> it's too 
tools inside the car. Talking about inside the car. You guys don't even know what I've been doing. Got a hell of an update coming up for it. Stay tuned. Add a little bit of heat. little see how it's pretty easy means I could tighten it try and flare it some more or I can stop pull it off put the wheel on and kind of see where we're at which is what I might be doing because I don't want to go yeah It's official. The rear is done. Um, took me about, I don't know, what was it, like 45-ish minutes for both sides. Kind of took my time on it. I didn't want to go too crazy with the roller. You know, if I need to add a little bit more to it, then I can go back and add more. But, you know, if you do too much at once, then you're kind of screwed and have this crazy freaking rolled fender, which is not what I'm going for. I'm going to set the car down so you guys can actually see what the wheel looks like rolled and how I was saying it's pretty sunken in and I'm, that's why I'm, I rolled it so I can fit the spacers on it. Anyways, I'll show you guys. Alright. Ready? tell but I mean, it's pretty pretty sunken in I'm not really liking that so pretty sure I'm gonna go with like a one inch spacer but I mean they're rolled I'll show you the other side real quick same ordeal really tell how sunken in the wheel is and I know since it's on the Lorenzo lowering springs um, the wheels are a little cammed yeah I need an alignment but not too worried about that at the moment now I really recommend this little $60 roller it does the freaking job came out nice I'll uh, shoot some before and after pictures at the end of the video, but it's time that I'm going to order those one inch spacers for the rear and get back to it. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.